Howdy folks, it's your boy Sherman here. Uh, how are all you all guys doing? Um, so I released a video, when was it, a couple days ago, on a, and I took a quick look at the uh, tanks here that I certainly enough cannot, you know, drive and certainly cannot show you. I'm sorry for, you know, misstating some facts about T14. Um, I'm just, I was just stating what I could remember. I didn't mean to offend anyone, so, you know, there's no need to, like, throw a fit in the comment section, but, you know, whatever. Um, but, some people, I did ask in my last video, like, what you guys wanted to see, because there's so many vehicles, I don't know which vehicles to drive, because, you know, I have a lot of them, including the premiums. Um, so, basically, you know, again, tell me what you want me to, like, what you want me to drive, and I'll make a video on it. Um, but, today... Uh, some some people actually wanted to see the Leopard 2A5 or Leopard 2A5, and so here it is, awesomely fully uh, fully leveled up, uh, and it looks a fucking amazing. Um, but I also wanted to show you the new PVE system, which has some interesting features, I think. So what uh, the first thing you'll see is this one. I, I just completed this one, like it forces you to drive a T64, I think, but it's just like a training mission to see, you know, how. PVE works out. Let me close my window for a second. There we go. It sh tells you how PVE works and, you know, how the enemies and objectives and how, like, you're informed of your objective. And here are the daily contracts, which, by the way, already means there might be weekly or maybe even monthly or some challenges. So I'm already a fan of the fact that you can select your missions because before you clicked on a PVE button, you would be thrown into a match. You'd have to play three PVE matches or three PVE missions, and you would have no idea. Like you could have, um, I, I think you, like you could even have the same map twice in a row. Whereas here, you just select a mission where easy, uh, hard, or medium. I think there's also an insane difficulty, which might not be in the game yet, but there's going to be an insane difficulty one. Um, where you can, you know, like, test your skills against, like, like AI opponents so you can see how your vehicle works. And I really like this. I've always been, like, looking for such a mode in World of Tanks where I could, against tanks that would shoot back in, like, a certain, like, you know, in, like, a dangerous way, if you didn't watch out. Like, like these AIs can kill you. I just wanted to check out, like, see how tanks worked, you know, just test them out uh, and basically just see what I thought about the tanks, and that's something that I, I really miss in World of Tanks. I'm glad that is in, um, in Armored Warfare. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the medium contract one, and uh, I'm really interested to see what happens here. I think I'll just get thrown into a match with some people, though probably with the Leopard, it's going to take a while, so I'm not sure, but we'll, we'll just pick medium because there's you know that's where the most people are right now uh, in terms of um, difficulty levels. You know, I could spend hours and hours here waiting for a team of people to, you know, play easy or hard or even insane, as you can see, even though it's not a mission, selectable mission yet. Um, but I'm just going to, like, see and, like, guide the Leopard, hopefully, through a um, medium level, medium difficulty mission. And um, basically show the Leopard and show some of the new PvE stuff, you know, like the, like I just showed off the, the, the world map. Um, and I've already shown off these new, uh, I'm still in the queue, uh, showed off like some of these new vehicles like the Draco and the T14 and the PL PLL1 and the Challenger 2 and the M8, which all look really good. I think the PLL1 is not, I think it looks better in real life, but you know, it's probably just like a preview model. It's just, you know, there to get people hyped for it. Uh, I really love the Challenger 2, by the way. Um, although I guess what we're going to do is I'm going to, um pause the recording till we actually get into a game because this could take a while obviously so uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the battle so we are loading operation phalanx um the lions of nequil rather blow up the refinery to let anyone else have it break through the refinery and disarm the explosive before the senseless act of aggression is carried out so um of course the backstory of everything will hopefully get clear at some point um Let's see if I can... Did, did they reset the, the options? Hang on. Did they reset the... Uh, no, okay. okay. Uh, hi. And I'm also going to turn on the subtitles because I'm pretty sure it's going to be stuff talking and game or whatever. And then you guys can at least follow because I won't... Um, uh, and, I, I, and I won't talk over the cutscenes or the like text on screen or whatever. So these guys are pretty awesome. I mean, they're already talking. They're all nice and everything. Uh... 
take a look. I'll let them go first, though. Ah, screw it. I'm not gonna let them go first. I'll go up myself, actually. Sorry, Chieftain. Don't... No. Yeah, there we go. And okay, see, there's the, the stuff in the, in the bottom there. Stay alert, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that, like, the entire backstory to all this campaign stuff will get made, you know, clear to us at some point. Right now, it's just a whole lot of names and a whole lot of just shoot these tanks. Um, which, uh, I don't mind, you know, I'm all up for shooting stuff. I mean, I, I like blowing shit up, which in this game looks super fucking enormously awesomely epic, which is a w very weird combination of words, but I'm okay with it. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'm not really happy for my teammates, though, who are not going to be enjoying this as much. Oh, that's shit. Not gonna be enjoying this though because uh, they're uh, yeah they're they're like level f five and six. Uh, that's gonna be or tier five and six, or I should say. Destroyed that leopard five hundred thirty eight damage. The the gun on this actually is pretty good. Um, oh, there's a hell of a lot of people actually over here. Holy shit! The gun on this is oh shit. Okay, okay, you got me, Terminator. You got me. You scared the fuck out of me for a second. Um, the gun is actually really good. The uh, damage is 592 at the most, 482 at the least. Wait, is that correct? 484, sorry. Wait, am I reading that correct? 484, yes, 484 at the least, 592 at the most. So there's some, uh, there's some uh, variation in it as well, as obviously there is. I should probably start aiming more. Oh, crap, I should aim more and talk less. Um, expeditionary tank. It's a 611. Uh, the max damage on that is 774, though. So that's a lot of damage, which reminds me of the T90 uh, before it got nerfed a lot because it did do like a thousand plus damage. But uh, that's still a hell of a lot of damage if you manage to hit someone. This weasel, it's not gonna like it when I hit him, but uh, there we go. It's almost all of his health gone in one shot. I'm gonna have to pull back. My tanks are, my friends are also very far behind for some reason. Kind of a, uh, kind of scares me. We took that tank out though. That's good. Got a T90 up there, tier 8. I gotta. Pretty much the only player that can really face that T90 and do damage to it, probably. Oh, the weasel's down, but uh, the MP MPD 70 took it out. Uh, we got five and a half minutes to destroy the secondary objective, which is okay, I guess. We'll get to it. Um, so we can. Oh, that was right in his. Was that right in his commander's capola? It seems like it. That was a pretty good shot, if I say so myself. Let's try and see. Uh, he's behind that tower kind of story object. Oh, we angled the tank good enough for the leopard to bounce. T90 missed his shot. Aim. And... Damn, we missed on his uh, commander's hatch again. I'm trying to get the commander's hatch, if anything. There is tanks to my left. There's a leopard down here I could just shoot in the back of. Hello. What? I what? Oh crap! I shot like the debris. All right, well that's okay. I'll just get him now. And he's almost done. He's like no health left. Same goes for that T90. I have to pull back and kill his leopard 2 AV though, because I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, our team has killed it. That's good. T90 is down. Good job. Finish up the Abrams and uh, get it over with. Abrams is in a very bad position right now. Doesn't really know where to look anymore. So we're just gonna rush, bum rush him. Hopefully he bounces, which he does. Taking a shot for a team. Going in for the kill. My teammate takes him out. Good job, boys. Moving up. There was still a weasel up there. He's being destroyed. Uh, moving up over here. Okay, I can actually see these little markers over there, which are secondary objectives, I'm guessing. Um... Oh, we did lose two of our- oh, we lost two of our friends? Fuck. That's not good. I guess, though, tier 5's going up into Ken's tier 8 is a bit tough, though. Five minutes, 40 seconds left to do this. It's, it's possible, definitely. Um... Party, okay. It's moving up. These PvE missions have definitely increased in difficulty, though. I'll be honest about that, really. Uh, loading HE. You know, probably don't. Oh, nice. Good kill. Oh, oh. Challenger 1 and a Leopard 2, 8, oh, 5. Oh, that's not good. I loaded HE and I didn't pay attention to that, to be honest. I thought I had it AP loaded. Incoming 
Nice shot on the challenger. I'm running a little bit low on ammo though. Oh, that's spelt with one S and two P's, right? Well, I suck. Oh, I shot the commander thing. That does no damage. That was an easy shot on the leopard. He was moving back. Artillery is hitting me pretty badly right now. I, I'm okay. My, my teammates luckily still have a lot of health, but I can't see that leopard. Where is he? I'm gonna have to go in and just fucking go gun it. Let's go and kill his challenger. I'm bounced. I can ram him probably and do enough damage to him. Artillery just missed me. Come on, challenger, get over here, bitch. Get over here, bitch. Didn't do my damage, now I'm screwed. I'm gonna have to smoke up and pull back out behind the smoke if I can. Artillery is hitting me. We got a Panzer House. We got three and a half. This, these missions are actually quite intense. I didn't expect them. I mean, the, the last time I played PvE, they weren't that intense. I mean, they were, they were okay. But like you rarely lost like a, like a teammate. Now, holy shit. Panzerhaus is almost done. We got a Bradley and a Weasel coming in. Panzerhaus is down. Leopard up here, which I'm gonna have to forcefully kill. Where'd it go? What the fuck? It's on the ground. Okay. Well, um, I guess the leopard is underground. And it was, uh, <laughs> okay. Well, um, I guess we could still win, but it'd be, it'd be tough. We got two minutes left. Um, let's see if my teammates can do anything against that leopard. He is literally underground. At least on my screen he was. These guys can only load HE, I guess, and do damage to them. It's... Uh, I feel bad for the Leopard 2A, for the Leopard 1A5, which I think is a brilliant looking tank, by the way. It looks so good in this. That M2 Bradley, it's not even penetrating. Oh, that Leopard did a lot of damage. Now it's penetrating the side of the Leopard. You know, keep your armor angled, mate. Keep your armor, armor angled. No, armor your armor. Uh, angle your armor, buddy. That uh, Weasel can easily get killed. He takes his time, which he doesn't. Armor your uh, angle your armor, buddy. If he's not loading HEI, then you can angle your armor. That's not angling your armor. Oh, that's not angling your armor, buddy. Um, there's only three tanks left alive, but I don't think he's gonna make it. He's got two minutes left. I'm pretty sure that Leopard is underground. At least I, I couldn't see him. Maybe I'm just blind. That, that's also a possibility. We didn't complete, you know, complete the secondary objective. But this is, uh, this is, I guess, the bane of um, of these PVEs that I got forced into their match, which obviously means that they get forced to play against like, um, what's that, a uh, Leopard 2A5 and a Weasel, and I just feel kind of bad that I just threw them in here because you know that's it's hard for them. You know, they're they're very good vehicles, so it's pretty tough for them to, to fight against those. But um, I just wish that he would actually push up. And 70, 70 seconds left, boy. You gotta kill that weasel. That uh, Bradley, the leopard is a one shot if you can kill it. And the Bradley is a two shot, I think. This thing does like 600 damage, though. So. Uh, with the heat. So we could load it. Oh, the Bradley's a one shot kill for him. Not if he misses, but you can get him. That's not a problem. And the leopard's out of the ground again. Come on, you got this. Just kill the Bradley, mate. Come on. He has this. Now you just gotta... Come on, you got this. Come on, come on, come on. He's gonna have to make it count. He cannot penetrate him from there or shoot the commander to pull a thing. No, he didn't shoot it yet, did he? Oh no. Oh damn, I think I think we lost. 
Uh, well, okay, there's actually like a, some sort of cinematic thing. Well, so we didn't manage to save the oil at a fuel at an oil refinery, and uh, part of that is my fault because we were facing like a couple of tier eights, and I was like the only tier eight, and I didn't realize my um, like, like half my team, like well, two like two guys on my team were already dead in that first initial engagement. You know, to be fair, we're like tier six against tier eight, so. But um, yeah, this is like the new PVE stuff. Instead of like place like playing three missions in a row, it's like pick your mission. And uh, I'm guessing they can, as I said, they can introduce um, more. I like, see now the missions changed, but they can introduce more missions with you know different objectives and um, sometimes maybe more, sometimes maybe less people. So I can definitely see this being an interesting addition to to the game. And I really love the leopard. Um, good armor, decent speed, awesome gun. Um, definitely a tank. I am gonna drive in PvP, but um, right now it's it's not that busy. So, as you can see, there's like just like a couple of people in PvE, so I'm pretty happy that I already got a game in PvE. Uh, so yeah, I appreciate the uh, view. Uh, you know, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, everything else. That's awesome. Don't forget to say awesome for yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers! You claim it's love that you never started. You once destroyed a broken heart that was already shattered. To what we have, you take us to the edge of battle.